Hello, Jen. Well, House Republicans will propose to roll back administration in home health care today. One of the sponsors is Oregon Representative Greg Walden, whose own parents got home health care. Listen. I will tell you, it kept them out of the nursing home longer. It kept them out of readmittance to the emergency room. It made a huge difference in their quality of care because they could be home. Just like Janet Connor's mother, Yvonne, in North Carolina, who got home health care when she contracted pneumonia. I couldn't have done it without help, but it was over in about a week. She was well, so she didn't have to be hospitalized. We've demonstrated that medical care in the home reduces emergency room visits and hospitalizations. Is therefore more cost effective. Nevertheless, the administration itself estimated the cuts would force 40% of home health care companies into the red. Walden says it could be 70% in rural Oregon. That is not tolerable, that's not acceptable, and it's not smart. And not acceptable to most seniors, uh, most senators either. Senators actually, 51 senators actually urged the administration to back off its $20 billion in cuts, including 36 key Democrats such as Chuck Schumer and Elizabeth Warren. But the administration made the cuts anyway. Aside from the fear of angering seniors, they may have also been worried about the narrative of the administration threatening 498,000 jobs of mostly women at the same time, Democrats are trying to accuse Republicans of a war on women. Gender issues are significant in home health care because most of the providers, the vast majority of providers, over 90 percent, are women. And the vast majority of the beneficiaries of services are also women. Now, this war on women hits the most vulnerable seniors, making it a political liability. Now, Democrats just have to figure out how to vote on something they beg the administration not to do in the first place. Back to you.